Okay, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I have a bunch of topics that I wanna share with all of you guys. They're just rumbling through my head and I can't wait to get them all out there. But this topic is very important for a lot of females out there, females and males. I think this message is great for any of you. Um, my topic is basically a love letter to all the women out there about what it means to be beautiful. This is a huge hot topic in our society. Uh, I took a few notes to try and stay on point, but I've been struggling with this as myself and I think every female in the entire world struggles with these issues. So let's get started. What does society tell us about what it is to be a beautiful woman or how important it is to be beautiful? I feel like in our generation, especially nowadays, society is always constantly telling us how important it is for women to be beautiful. That that is ranks at one of the most top priorities of the list. Not how strong you are, not how emotionally stable you are, not how smart you are. Beauty is just overwhelmingly important to be beautiful. But what is the definition of beauty? We all have our own definition of what it means. What does society tell us? Honestly, society pressures us in so many ways. It could be to be fitter. It could be to have more curves. It could be from one end of the spectrum all the way to the other. And it's very confusing for us women to understand, well, what do we need to be? Do we need to be more fit? Do we need to have more curves? Do we need to have longer hair, more blonde hair? And at the end of the day, it all matters what, what makes you feel happy, content, beautiful, and not judged. Here's the situation with society. Society is telling us that if we don't try to be beautiful, that we're just settling and we don't really care how we come across and how we look and that we're not really looking for someone else or not looking for attention, so therefore we're not gonna get attention. And that's just plain wrong, but it's also confusing because it makes women want to desire to enhance themselves, whether it's through longer hair, blonder hair, tanner skin, fitter body, uh, more chiseled face, I don't know, whatever it is that you're looking for, society's constantly telling you that if you enhance yourself, you'll be more loved, you'll be more liked, you'll, you'll get more attention, you might get a better job, you might get more follows, you might get more likes, you might get more engagement, Every single aspect of our, of our life is now telling us that beauty equals better, and more beauty equals better, and more enhancement equals better. And I think this is a slippery slope for women. It's very uh, scary because uh, we're always trying to be our best, and every woman out there, if, if you're watching this video, you are beautiful, and if I meet you, I meet a woman every single day, I find something beauty, beautiful in every woman that I meet. It could be her smile, it could be her charisma, it could be how beautiful her eyes are, how nice her skin is. I love women that are super short and cute, and I love women that are tall and beautiful long legs. There's so much beauty in women that I can appreciate that is a vast difference from this end of the spectrum all the way to here. And there is no definition of beauty. There is no definition of more beautiful. And we have in society the scale that tells us that if you're this, you're better than this. And I myself have gotten caught up in this and it's very confusing and I've seen many women in my generation and, and my life also get caught up in this feeling like they always need to enhance themselves more and more and more. But where do we draw this line? Where is that line too far or too obsessive or unhealthy? Whether it's like mentally unstable or it becomes obsession or it starts to actually develop more insecurities in ourselves where we project them on other people, or maybe we become more jealous of other people, or we're constantly comparing ourselves to other people and never feeling satisfied. This is a slippery slope, and this can happen, and it's a very real thing. Um, even women that I'm around, I'm around beautiful women all the time, fitness models, top models, social influencers, celebrities, and all of these women are beautiful, gorgeous. But all of us, in some way, shape, or other, kind of wonder if there's something more that we need to be doing. Do, are we not as beautiful because we don't have the highest engagement? Do we need a more chiseled body? Do we need more curves? Do we need a bigger butt? Do we, like all these things. And the really weird thing about our society is right now, we actually have access to changing all these things about ourselves. Whereas previous generations, we never had access to, could we enhance our, like even breasts. Breast, breast augmentation has only been around for like 30 years in a mass scale. 30 years ago, women couldn't just change the size of their breasts. Now it's popular, it's pretty much standard. 
hair extensions, hair color, that's actually relatively new as well. And it's pretty much standard. So at what point when we see society constantly going to the direction of enhancement is better, more is better, even your standard natural beauty is not enough. And I do have to say, for instance, when I came to LA, I did not know that I would actually feel more and more insecure when I came here. I came here bright eyed, excited to start a journey. This is the land of dreams. This is the land of collaboration and excitement and dreams and networking and business and success. And I came here and slowly but surely recognized that somehow the, the LA type society and culture was teaching me that I actually needed to be more than I was. Even though I already came here fit and, and for all intents and purposes, I had natural beauty. I had, I had nice looks. I was created to feel like I needed more, like I wasn't enough, like I had to keep up with everybody. And you know, my hair wasn't long enough and it, and um, you know, my lips weren't big enough or my tan's not tan enough enough of the time, or my butt's not big enough because everyone here has these amazing full, fat, big, juicy booties. And I was like, wow, I thought my butt was getting nice. I was working hard for it, training hard, squatting. At the end of the day, I started to find out that the more and more you compare yourselves to others, the more and more insecure you feel, the more, uh, like you just feel like you're not enough. And that's a terrible spot to be in as a woman, especially when we try so hard to be what society says is the best, to be attractive, to be pretty, to feel wanted, to feel desired, to get attention, because that's kind of how we get attention. And if anyone wants to pretend like that's not how women get attention in this life, they're lying to themselves. Everybody knows that when you're a beautiful woman or you look, you turn heads, next thing you know, people are buying you coffees, getting your number, whatever it is, some way or shape or form in society, you kind of get treated with an elevated status. And especially nowadays in the social media world and things like that, you know, beauty is one of the one of the things that needs to be on your resume. You need to be beautiful. You need to be gorgeous. You need to be fit. And it's a very strange situation because at what point is it enough? At what point do you tell yourself, I am fit enough. Uh, my hair is pretty. My, my natural face is nice. I don't need uh, 10 pounds of makeup on all the time. Maybe for a photo shoot, maybe for an event but I don't need to feel that way. I don't always need a filter. I don't always need like dramatic lashes. Like when I came here, I didn't, I had baby lash extensions, but after I came here, I wanted strip lash and I wanted more lash. And I want, I thought that I didn't think my natural lips were pretty. So I got them injected. I'm not going to lie. And I didn't even think or know that that's what I needed until I came here and the culture kind of taught me, no, most women that are gorgeous, and most women that are successful have beautiful, full, puffy, pouty lips, and that's what's well accepted in society. That's what's considered gorgeous and beautiful. So if your lips are not as full naturally, then you probably won't be looked at as successful or as beautiful or as gorgeous. You won't turn as many heads. You won't get as much attention. You might not get as much engagement. And I was like, oh my God, like this is crazy. This is overwhelming. So maybe I do need a little bit here and there, but where do you draw the line? When, when does that line stop? I think the line stops when you realize within yourself, we all carry beauty. We all resonate beauty. It could be through our personality. It could be through our skin tone. You name it. There's so many ways that women can be beautiful in more than one way, but we need to stop this madness of seeking perfection. Perfection, first of all, does not exist. There's no one person that is perfect. There's a lot of people that have, they call them tens or twelves where they they're tall and they're beautiful and they have the tan and the da 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 but they're not perfect and no one person is perfect and we're made to be unique and we should be happy with our uniqueness and we should be happy to be able to appreciate the beauty in others without putting ourselves down. And what ends up happening in society is we keep comparing ourselves to other beauty and then diminishing our own and saying, well, she's a 10 and I feel like an eight. So therefore I suck. No, you do not suck. You do not suck. You're amazingly beautiful. And someone gets in your, all the people in your life, they're going to recognize it. They're going to share it with you and they're going to love you for it. And you don't have to be a 10 or 12. You don't have to be the big booty that someone else loves and enjoys. Um, that is going to constantly create uh, insecurity, jealousy, hatred, all these awful, awful feelings for which you don't even, you're not even thankful for your own blessed beauty. You're just constantly seeking someone, someone else's. And I've been a victim of this. I am hundred percent was confused on 
what it is to be beautiful, how many steps you need to take, how enhanced do you need to be, where do you stop the enhancements, and I'll, I'll be honest with you guys, I actually don't judge people that enhance themselves. I don't judge them, I don't have any hate on them, I'm not gonna point people out and point fingers. If that's what makes them happy and in their mind, heart, and body, they feel sane and happy and beautiful and confident and they have no issues with jealousy or insecurity or feeling like they're on an obsessive track to always enhance themselves, then that's great. They've reached their balance. But for me and for so many women out there, I feel like we need to achieve a healthy balance. We need to know that we are beautiful and be happy with our own little strengths that we have. And if we wanna make enhancements here and there that keep us healthy, not obsessed, not developing eating disorders, not developing plastic surgery disorders where we're constantly changing everything, but simply being reaching a balance. So for me, that maybe I do want extensions every once in a while. Maybe I do like tan, uh, getting a spray tan because my skin is my skin is, has the potential to get skin cancer. So I don't want to lay out in the sun and ruin it and and so be susceptible to that. So there's certain things I'm willing to do for myself, but I also need to be centered. In myself and know that if I happen to not be able to get a, uh, a spray tan that day that it's okay if uh, snapchat or all these filters aren't around anymore that I will still be okay with my face and that I will be okay not always being over filtered and I will be okay if I'm not always wearing tons of makeup and I'll be okay that if I you know this other person is getting all these plastic surgeries I don't need it you know, and that that person probably doesn't need it. That person probably was just as beautiful before and maybe she doesn't even re recognize it because society is constantly telling her that she needs to be better, better, better. And even her best wasn't good enough. So I think we as women need to encourage each other, empower each other, compliment one another and highlight each other's beauty, not in a condescending judgmental way where we say, ew, look at you, you're so fake. That's not helpful. That's condescending, judgmental, and it's very bad. In a way that's like, you know what? You look beautiful without makeup today. You look amazing. You know you don't need that filter. You're beautiful without it. Or I really love your natural hair color that's coming in. We as women, we as a society, and even men, men can actually help a lot with this too. Remind your woman how beautiful she is in other different ways that it does not require enhancement. So that we don't get trapped on this cycle of constantly feeling the need to be better and then being insecure when we don't reach that ultimate perfection because makeup is inherently is not evil um getting hair extensions isn't evil it's great to feel a little bit more feminine it's great to feel a little bit more pretty and there's plenty of occasions for that but if you're stuck on a trap that it's never enough that's what i feel like is will ruin women in society and make women feel like they're never enough that they can never be fit enough, they can never have the big enough booty, they can never have enough surgery or whatever, and then that is dangerous. And that's also not gonna make that woman feel confident and beautiful. So, dear women, everywhere, every shape, every size, every race, every color, every background, you are beautiful, you're amazing, and I'd love to point out each one of your beautiful characteristics, and I want you to know that even if you do things to enhance yourself, you're not judged. You're, you're just trying to feel confident and feel happy. And, there, and I don't blame you for it. I've done the same thing for myself. So can we please, as women everywhere, do this for one another and not judge each other for being fake, but simply just in, remind each other and enhance each other that you're not, some of the natural characteristics you already possess are amazing, or maybe where you currently stand there's nothing needed to be changed. So, I hope you all like this video. I just had to get this off my chest. All, I actually find women that are natural and filled with some flaws, some of the most beautiful people ever because their confidence radiates and emanates and they don't need a perfect image to be happy. They don't need a perfect image to be looked at, to seek attention. So when women have like, I don't know, some type of skin deformity or it could be anything i'm like wow that woman's so beautiful because she's so confident and so happy and she knows that her her um herself does not rely on being perfect and that in that in itself is beautiful that in itself is very what's the word i'm looking for i'm it's right it's like it's a uh, ah, what's the word it's so admirable 
that a woman can still be confident despite what she's lacking because none of us can be perfect. Even the most perfect of us are deep inside thinking there's something else we need to do. And since there is no real image of perfection, it's constantly rotating and changing, then why even try to always seek it? Anyways, that's my, that's my story, that's my rant. And I'd like to say if you women like this video and men, I would love men to watch this video as well and to tell all their women, whether it's a sister, mother, cousin, how beautiful they are or how well they are loved, then please like this video, subscribe to my upcoming YouTube videos and uh, check out some other videos on my channel and comment below what you thought about this. All right guys, thank you so much, bye.